Max, lead us into our next segment here of the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast. Are we going into football? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hades. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I didn't know if we were going to the NFL or if we were done with uh, college football. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah. Yes. Okay. No, we have a new segment, everybody, and it is called Hades Three Headed Dog. Okay. Let's go to Greek mythology, right? Let's go to Greek mythology. Hades, god of the underworld, he had a dog named Cyprus. Okay. Cyprus was a three headed dog, basically a monster. And the reason I want to bring this into the mix is the fact that. When a running back or a wide receiver, tight end, anyone other than a quarterback scores three touchdowns in a game, oh my goodness, that's a three-headed dog right there. That's a three-headed dog. We got a Cypress right here on the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast. And this week alone, we have three guys we got to start naming out. Huh, Cobra, he? Big time names here. Let's get into them. Heck yeah. So on Thursday night, okay, Copreys, you had this guy in your top 20 in preseason, and I had him in my top 25. I thought, you know, I, th I thought good things, uh, but th th this guy is ending up being the lead back over Jameer Gibbs. David Montgomery had three touchdowns on Thursday night. If you had him in your starting lineups, which Sam did not have him in his starting lineup, so <laughs> sorry, Sam. You got first, I'm gonna go, I gotta jump back a second. For the past few weeks, you guys have been calling me a queef a lot. <laughs> I've been hearing it on, on the toes. You guys called me a queef quite a few times. Well, Sam, that was a queef pick uh, and not starting David Montgomery. Three-headed dog. He's our first three-headed dog of the season, David Montgomery. He's in He's in his starting lineup now. I know that for sure. And uh, Sam actually lost last week uh, wow. to, Bob, to Bobby. Wow. Ooh. David Montgomery, 34.1 PPR fantasy points, 32 carries for 121 yards in those three touchdowns. 31 carries. 31 oh carries. Damn, he's got a lot of work. David Montgomery, like you said, I had him in my top 20. I waited too long to try to get him in the draft. Mm -hmm. uh, next next year, I will spend up if I want him, if I want David, a guy like that. David Montgomery was underrated on the Bears. I know he had some injuries, uh, but – Man, now he found his home. Okay, Detroit is looking good this season. Good for David Montgomery. Welcome to the Hades Club. Who is our next player? Our next player. Okay, let's go drop over to a wide receiver. It's Josh Allen's favorite target, Stefan Diggs. Finally, right? Finally. I mean, Stefan, I mean, he's, he's been doing okay this year. Don't get me wrong. But this was the this was the breakout game. This is when you're like, okay, this is why I drafted early for Stefan Diggs, where I kept Stefan Diggs. Uh, this, come on. It's hard to catch three touchdowns in a game, people. And this guy, especially against the Dolphins. You kidding me? The Dol Dolphins put up 70 points last or two weeks ago. And uh, they just freaking ran and uh, uh, just played around with Miami. Me. Uh, so, uh, hey, good for Stefan Diggs. What else you got for me with Stefan Diggs, uh, Cobrizi? Six for 120 in those three touchdowns. That's 20 yards a catch. 36 PPR fantasy points. Nice. He's he's looking like a top 10 player. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it seems like it every, sing every single season. And who's our last player for this? Oh, race? man. This guy had four touchdowns. Four. He's going to be the leader of the Hades three-headed dogs. I'll tell you right now, okay? This guy was arguably the number one overall pick in your fantasy drafts. Uh, he was a keeper in our league. We're, you know, he, we haven't seen Christian, we have not seen Christian McCaffrey in a long time. <laughs> uh, this guy had four touchdowns, okay? Holy, oh, oh my goodness, this guy does it all. He might be the best player in the NFL. He might very well be. I believe he has a 13 or 14 game streak of scoring touchdowns that's ridiculous amazing this past week 20 carries for 106 yards and three touchdowns seven catches for 71 yards and another touchdown 48.7 ppr fantasy points if Whoa. you had christian mccaffrey Sheesh. you might be four and oh you might be four and oh if you have christian mccaffrey at least three and one yeah yeah, I, I, I've said this before, Christian McCaffrey on the 49ers. Oh, my goodness, that is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It just doesn't get better than that. I'm telling you, when he was in Carolina, you know, he was going to put up fantasy stats and, you know, fantasy numbers, but they were never winning. You know, now he's on a team that puts up the fantasy numbers and they were winning. 
you know, good for Christian McCaffrey. I'm glad that he's finally on a team that can go to a Super Bowl. Because when you see a player that's as good as he is, we want to see that guy in a championship game. Come on. Yeah, you're right. Nice, uh, nice new segment here for the Don't Tell Mama Sports Podcast, Max. I'm hoping we see more, but once again, people, this is very, very rare. Okay, but the fact that we had three in one week, pretty, pretty impressive. But we're hoping to get more. We'll see. Hey, Thursday, Thursday, the Bears, the Bears going to get a, a three headed. Uh, no, no way, no, 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 no way, no. Hey, Cole Komet with two last week though. Hey, good, good, good for Cole Komet. Yeah. 